Hello everybody and welcome back to Animal Crossing City Folk. Today is it well it's a day. Um change of real life plans means I could have probably bought the red turnip, but I'm still playing I, I still played it safe. Play it safe is always a good idea. Well not always. Sometimes it's not great to play it safe. But yeah. And I do know from the little opening bit that there is, at the very least, a dig spot over here by Tank's house. Yep, there it is. This house seems to be popular for uh, for things to appear by. Hey, a fossil. This is literally really close to where there was a fossil before. Let's come talk to the man himself. Hey, Tank. Kaboom! I'm all about keeping it intense, and the sun is almost too intense today. Yo, S Dog, you know what the Do you know Ugh. Did you know that fossils smell? They've got this burly odor of old dust and adrenaline. One whiff will make a grown dude dizzy. Not many people know about it, just mean gladdies and a few others. I get a nostril that smell and I guarantee I will find those bones. Kapow! Good, come sniff this fossil and I'll and tell me where a new fossil is. <laughs> yeah, that isn't actually something. There's a lot of animals right around here. Hey, Felicity. Ski. Well, squee. Woohoo, nya. Hey, do you know there are some special flowers that only bloom in totally pretty places? I'll bet those flowers are mega super gorgeous, nya. I will definitely. Definitely get one of those puppies to bloom. Fair enough. Hey, Mott. Bam! You're looking stoked. Did you steal that look from me, cheese ball? Hey, yo, S Dog. You know about how everyday designers are making all the rad clothes? Take this shirt I'm wearing right now. Tim from Tree Hut made it. People are into how how huge it bleh. people are into how it makes my biceps look huge. Well, they haven't said it, but I can tell. Look at the, look at this awesome was cheap too. Watch and learn, kid. That's pro style. I and mean, yeah, your shirt's pretty cool. It'd be better if it had sleeves. I mean, my my shirt has sleeves and it's armor. Amelia, I caught your fleas. What flea? He's no. How could I possibly have fleas? Somebody gave them to me. Somebody did this to me. Oh, just wait until I find out who, cuz. Yeah, I don't want to be around when she finds out who gave her fleas. The way she's just outside of her house, too, makes me really think she lost her house key. Oh, present. I'm in the... Oh, I wasn't in the wrong spot. There we go. Let's see. What's in the present? A washer dryer. <laughs> Not exactly what I expected to fall out of the present, but I mean, I'll take it. Now, I'm gonna actually head back down and around so I can see the uh, bulletin board before we go anywhere. I like keeping an eye on that thing. Have to make sure we're actually recording. Yeah, that's, I'm still paranoid over that. And also, I believe yesterday was actually the 90th episode. It's weird to think I've been doing this for basically three months now. I think this series is almost longer than Wild World. If it isn't already longer than what Wild World was. Oh, there is something on the bulletin board. It's just in. We've received a rare piece of baby panda in our showroom. Nothing to miss. Well, I think we've bought the baby panda before, so it's not that rare. I mean, I'm sure it's rare, it's just not that rare. I might as well move these flowers to over here. I mean, they don't fit with these flowers, but you know what? Maybe they'll give them some yellow. Hmm. 
No, nope, not the money rock. I don't really have the room to pick up the money from the money rock, but hey, I mean, might as well still try and find it. My ear is really itchy, but I can't scratch it because the headset in the way. And I mean putting down the, the, the nunchuck, which is how I'm moving, so... That wouldn't be good. So I'm just gonna have to deal with having an itchy ear. It's fine. I'm used to having itchy ears. I'm actually one of those people that is, as much as I know you really shouldn't do it, I'm, <laughs> I almost say I'm like compelled to use Q-tips. It, it's kind of bad, I know. I, I shouldn't do it, but I can't help it. Like, I'm always really careful about it. I never actually shove them in my ear. But cleaning around the outside of them is always, you know. Okay, open them. I push the button. I know the Wiimote isn't exactly enjoying life, but... I've still yet to swap this Wiimote out with the one that I have currently synced to the Wii U. Because I'm lazy. We may as well head to Nook and Tents, but I think we're gonna first go to, uh... Oh, hey, here. here's Lucy. Hello there, big bro, Lynx. Out for a little walk? What kind of music do you normally listen to, big bro, Snoo? Um... Early these, I'd have to say I listen to more rock. I see. That explains so much about you. Your clothes, your design sense, it all screams rock. There's something about a rock music. It's not just a sound, it's a lifestyle. I mean, it isn't really, but okay. It's not the lifestyle for me, though. I mean, I just do not, I just do not look good in spandex. But I do admire anyone who can be so dedicated to style. I mean, I'm, I'm wearing armor. That would be more classical, you'd think. I mean, if classical was in that list, I would've went with it, because I listen to either classical or rock. I kind of bounce between the two. Well, honestly, I tend to just listen to whatever sounds good. Though, one thing I can never get past is how bad dubstep sounds. It's almost always sounds bad. Which is kind of a case of, you old man just doesn't understand. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind not understanding. It just, it just sounds bad. I'm not even that old. I'm the target demographic, you know, age, but I still don't like it. And I should come from the top of these just to try and make sure I get them watered, because these are one of our hybrid flowers. Yeah, what I was saying before we talked to Lucy is I just gotta head to the museum before going to Nookington's. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it'd be kind of nice if, like, when Nook asked for, like, advice on what to do for his shop, if, like, if you told him one of the other things, if he would just build another shop. Because, I mean, he probably could. I mean, the Nooklings could run Nookingtons. They basically already do. I mean, Nook handles very little, honestly. Please identify it, brothers. I mean, Sabertooth Skull, we already have one, though. Is it Wednesday? No, it's Tuesday. So tomorrow's the day we go and get our painting. Um... Yeah, like, in the next game, literally, the Nooklings are running the shop. See the most unusual and interesting people when you just sit here with a cup of coffee? And I can't help but listen in when they're talking, Stretch. Fair enough. Usual right. You know the price. Yep, I'll be fine, buddy. Enjoy our coffee. I will enjoy my coffee as well. Oh, 
Oh, jeez, this coffee turned me into Ric Flair. <laughs> Just casually wooing, like it's no, you know, like it's no big deal. I wonder if the uh, turnips will be a decent price today. Probably not, where it is just Tuesday. I didn't bother going and checking the morning price because, well, it is Tuesday. It's almost never going to be a good price on Tuesday. So, in other news, as all of you are very likely aware, I believe at, at the time of this recording, E3 is currently going on. And I couldn't really care about it, but, you know, it's it's a thing. 72 bells. I can basically summarize what E3 is going to be, and I think just about anyone that's been paying attention to anything can as well. Everything's going mobile, everything's going online. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the Wobblina. I'll sell the Peacock, we'll probably get another one. If it can be turned into an MMO, it's probably going to be. And if it can be turned into a mobile game, it's probably going to be. Because those are just the two biggest markets right now. Yeah, I know you guys have a spotlight item, and I might buy it, because I do like it. Yeah, I'll buy it. I'll buy the baby panda. I mean, I'm not against things going to, you know, becoming MMOs and going mobile and such. I just wish that regular games would be made too, and made affordable. Like, that that isn't too much to ask. I mean, honestly, the best example for a, a game that could have been better if it was just cheaper, and it, yeah, it would have hurt the pocketbooks of the company a little bit, but not a lot would have been Overwatch. Just think of how much money most people dump into the loot, the loot boxes into that ga in that game. They spend well over the $60 for it, and there's no way those loot boxes cost more than, you know, maybe $400 worth of pay to create. A lot of the cost, unless it's a fully unique costume, a lot of it's just changing the color palette. That takes maybe five minutes. Like... This is Blizzard. They're gonna be good and quick at what they do. They could have honestly probably released Overwatch for half of its retail price. And still been perfectly fine. The only difference is they wouldn't have made as much money off the game. They still would have made money. And they'd still continue to make money. One, two... Three, four, five. Zebra turkey fish. But like a lot of a lot of things out there today in the games industry do honestly frustrate me. As somebody who is poor and has always been poor, but is also a gamer. Um I mean, like, a console. I could- I expect those to be expensive. But, like, say here in Canada, a brand new AAA game is $79.99. So once you add tax on, that's $80 to $90. Hey, Clamfish. That is a ridiculous price. That's a butterfly. Uh, is this new? The grayest butterfly. I think that might be new. Might as well take it up to Blathers and see. But like that—that that is an insane amount of money, and I know it's a lot. Of, a lot of the reason is just because the Canadian dollar is terrible. But that's kind of the point. The Canadian dollar is terrible. So with games being as expensive as they are. Lucy wants something. Oinks, it's good to see you, big bro. I had a question to ask you. Now how I just said oinks a second ago, Snoo? Well, I think it's time we came up with a greeting that's a little more personal, don't you? Definitely. Really? So, do you have something in mind? If so, you just have to share it with me, Snoo. 
Um, I mean, she has oinks right now. Um, you know what? Because everyone else is picking it up, and she's very likely gonna pick it up. Of no, not two M's. She's gonna have bam, bam. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's a greeting, so. <laughs> it does have a bit of a happy ring to it, if you say it very happily. Hmm. Yeah, like, they... Very likely games would sell more to, say, Canadians... If they cost less for Canadians. Like, that isn't rocket science there. If something costs less, more people are gonna buy it. So if games had actually stayed at about $60, or the $59.99, that would have been great. Or if they would stayed at 40 that would have been amazing. And a lot of it just comes from corporate greed is kind of blinding the games industry from seeing how much more they could make by lowering the price. Oh. Okay, so we have already donated this. Fair enough. And I mean, I, I know I also probably shouldn't be talking about this kind of stuff because, well, who am I to talk about the games industry? I'm a little indie developer who's not even released a game yet. You know. But I can still look at the industry and see it critically. And it's... Quite honestly, it's just corrupt. Too many people put making every little penny they can get above, you know, actually making more money. Um, because if you're focused on just making as much money as you can off of the whales, then you're going to lose out on a lot of non-whale players. For those of you who might not know, a whale is basically just... You know that one guy in the MMO that owns every pay-for item? That's a whale. They're, they're the people who have the money and are willing to spend the money to purchase everything. Absolutely everything. Mostly so they can show off. That is a common trend. They just kind of want to show off. They're like, yeah, I have money. Look, see, I have all this stuff. I actually know someone who's like that. And anytime I point out to them that that's basically what they're doing, they tend to get decently offended. But they also can't disagree because they know that's what they're doing. Um, it's kind of rude of me to point it out to them, but at the same time, it's accurate and, you know. But I think I should probably end off for today before I end up making a lot of people very angry. And I'm still... Yeah, you know, I'm still interested in a lot of new games, and I also wish more games would have demos, because that would help with piracy issues. If more people could play your game before it's released, then they're not going to pirate it, so long as you're giving them an accurate and sizable demo. I mean, I, I'm going to stop here, just so I can actually relay this, but like, back when I was younger, on our family computer, we had a demo for Command & Conquer Terribian Sun. I would sit and play that demo for hours on end. So later on, when I had the money, which albeit was like in... Whenever the Command & Conquer, you know, collection thing came out, I bought that mostly because of Terribian Sun. Because that demo had actually given me enough that I knew I would like the game. I mean, you get a lot of demos these days, and they're just... They're bad. They're bad demos. And that makes people not want to buy the game, because they don't know if the game's gonna be good or not. And with games costing so much, no one wants to spend their money not, like, not knowing if they're gonna like a game or not. So they're gonna pirate it. That's, you know, that's not rocket science. If you can get the product for free to test it before you buy, you're gonna do that. I mean, if the vacuum, you know, the vacuum salesman came around to your house with a vacuum, you're gonna wanna test it before you buy it. You wanna see it in action. You know, it's the same idea. But, yeah, I, sh I should probably end this off. Um... 
with that, I thank you all very much for watching and listening to me ramble, and hope to see you again next time for more Animal Crossing City Folk. See you all then.